What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon Blakeney, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Welcome back to the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Now, kick back, relax, and come take a ride with your boy. Now, we know head coach Don Staley demands respect for her squad. She will ride for her team, and she is very much outspoken in protecting her players. And that didn't stop today after she demanded an apology from a radio show affiliated with CBS Sports. They insulted Camila Cardoso, y'all. It was mad disrespectful on live air, on the airwaves. Don Staley caught wind of it, demanded an apology. And, well, y'all can kind of assume how that went. But before we get into all that, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button for all the latest and the greatest. And join our memberships. We got that exclusive content coming daily, weekly, whenever you need it. Now, let's get into it. You are now locked into the Live with Brandon Blakeney podcast. Here is your host, Brandon Blakeney. Now, before we get into the clip, we just got to put some respect on Camila Cardoso's name. Leading South Carolina undefeated right now. She was first team all SEC and defensive player of the year in the SEC as well. She has been one of the most dominant players on both sides of the floor. She's the key piece for South Carolina down low. Um, she's a star with in, in the international league with Brazil. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to put some respect. Camila Cardoso is, a, like, certified. She's stamped. On top of that, she is a projected lottery pick in this year's WNBA draft. So, for her to be disrespected and called out a name was a bit ridiculous. I'm going to just go ahead and say that. On the year, Cardoso is averaging 14 points per game, 9.5 rebounds, 2.1 assists, and she's shooting 58.4% from the field. On top of that, on the defensive side of the ball, she's averaging 2.6 blocks per game, the second highest total in her career. Now, she's a physical presence. She's six foot seven, big in the middle, has that dog in her, feisty, got that tenacity, plays with a very much an, uh, an intensity that isn't matched by many players on the court, man. She brings that energy. She brings the noise. We've seen her get in a couple touch-ups, you know. She was ejected um, in international play for Brazil for getting into some action. And then we saw the scuffle with LSU where she came and um, shoved Flaje Johnson to the floor and, and maybe was about to do her brother in too. But, hey, that's for another day. So, you know, she's a physical specimen. Um, and, you know, She's gotten into a couple scuffles on the floor, and, I mean, that doesn't necessarily speak to her character. I mean, the emotions get high. She's a very emotional player, and she's definitely loyal. Like, she's got her teammates back, so we're not going to fault her for that, and this is not a video to, like, talk trash about South Carolina or Camila Cardoso because we've seen this in the past, man. We've seen Coach Don Staley, who is the SEC Coach of the Year, demanding that apology because her players have been called out of name in the past based on their appearances as well as how they play the game of basketball, which now everybody in women's college basketball seems to kind of have adjusted. The game has adjusted the South Carolina style as far as, like, the physicality. Not saying that everybody is as physical as them, but, like, you know, it ain't outlandish the way they play now. People are trying to catch up, but the rules have adjusted to that style of play. I mean, we've seen the game become way more physical over the last couple of years since Don Staley got to South Carolina. They've been called thugs, bar fighters, all types of names with racist undertones. We know what it is. We know what it is. And so it was, it's, it's not just this clip. It's everything that's went before that that's built up to this and the fact that Coach Don Staley is going to ride for her players. She has their back. And she ain't going to let nobody disrespect them like that. And then it was just surprising, man. Being a former radio host as well as a news television anchor, sports TV anchor, there's ethics, man. You can't be on the live air with thousands potentially listening. You don't know who's listening. And you calling this young lady, this college student, this student athlete, a giant Brazilian woman. Are you kidding me? 
I mean, it's tasteless, it's classless, and it's beyond disrespectful, man. This is what we were we here for. Our flooring, every step covered. March Madness is upon us. Selection Sunday is only a few days away, and we even have teams that have won their conference tournaments and have automatic bids. But if I'm being honest, I'm more excited for the women's tournament. I'm ready for Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, and the giant Brazilian woman from South Carolina that knocks people over. Forget the guys. Where are the women? I'm ready. I'm JR. Now, after this, Don Staley took to Twitter. She demanded an apology. And when the SEC Coach of the Year, Don Staley, demands something, you can bet your bottom dollar that it's holding some weight. Now, she tweeted out, What a morning. Never thought I'd hear one of my players described in such an offensive way. I'm not sitting this one out. Camilla deserves an apology at CBS Sports at 107.5 The Game. Can be issued even though it's out of your control. Then, you know, she got the apology. The execs reportedly apologized and... You know, they tried to make things right and, you know, swallow those words, that, that nonsense that they were spewing out. So Don Staley follows up with, thank you, 107.5 The Game, for the swift apology, both written and on air. This means a great deal to Camilla and myself, as I do tune in daily. The South Carolina radio station, I believe, man. What in the world? And then she followed it up with, and thank you, CBS Sports execs, for personally apologizing. The love with love and understand. I agree with Don, man. I agree with Coach Staley. She definitely deserves better than that. And I mean, there's been so much criticism about that situation where she did show up, Lage. And I do agree. I have to say, and I will say it again, I'm not backtracking on this. It absolutely escalated things to the next level. But, I mean, we have to look at it. She had a bloody lip. She was out there getting cheap shot at all game. It's not like it came out of nowhere now. she I mean, she had her reasons. Let's be clear. Um, but, you know, it's just when you're an uh, uh, imposing presence like that and you're not afraid to throw your size around and use your size and move people out of the way, it's going to intimidate some people. But for a, a radio host to come out and say that nonsense, man, it was disrespectful. I'm glad they apologized and made things right, did the right thing, but still, man, it's ridiculous. Like, what's with the disrespect, man? I mean, I know a lot of players and a lot of teams take criticism, but it just seems like for South Carolina, the criticism's a little bit different. It's a little bit more intense. And, I mean, I guess you expect that when you win and you finish two back-to-back -back regular seasons um, undefeated, you know, you win two national championships. Like, of course – there's going to be some haters. There's going to be some noise. But, man, it's a difference between talking junk and just being racist and disrespectful, bro. I mean, come on. We got to do better as media. We got to get it together because that's ridiculous. I was kind of shocked when I heard it. What was y'all initial thoughts when y'all heard that comment, man? Because I was thrown off. I was like, "Is bro, bro, like, what's going on? It just didn't even seem real. And then you seen Coach Don Staley come out the woodworks. Hey, letting her know, letting people know she is not sitting this one out. And she's one of the most powerful people in basketball, especially in the women's side of things. Um, you know, her name holds weight. Her opinion matters. And when she speaks, people listen. Um, I'm looking for a, a very, you know, they're the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. They're the favorite to win the national title. They lose five starters. They replace all five starters. And, you know, it's a great story. It's one of the best stories in basketball. And instead of that, we're, we're focusing on brawls. We're focusing on we have to focus on dumb comments like this when we got a team that is playing just beautiful basketball, a team that is very cohesive, that has that chemistry, that genuinely enjoy being around each other as people. Like, this is one of the best stories in women's college basketball. And then you got their fearless leader, Don Staley, was just always doing the right thing to advance the game. You know, this is a great story. And then we got just idiotic comments like this that take attention away from what really matters. And I had to make the video to talk about it because it's news. It's, what's, it's what happened. And I had to bring that to y'all. I owed it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to hear what y'all think about this situation, what y'all took away from those comments. Do y'all feel it was out of line? Was it out of pocket? Should they have apologized? Should it have ever even been said? My golden rule that I was always told in radio is if you have to think about it, even on air, period. If you have to think about it, don't say it, period. If you have to think about it, do not say it.
But, I mean, they're just doing so many great things for the game, bringing so many new eyeballs to the game. And, man, they should be. we should be giving them flowers and celebrating. I mean, Cardoso, Defensive Player of the Year in the SEC, first team all SEC. She deserves a lot better than being called a giant Brazilian woman. Come on now. I mean, it's ridiculous. It, it, it's out of pocket, man. I just, I'm so glad that they didn't stand for it because that was disrespectful. And, hey, I do agree with one thing, though. This women's tournament is about to be way more exciting than the men's. I'm very excited. I mean, there's so many great teams that are playing right now. Um, you know, we were fresh off conference tournament season, moving into Selection Sunday. It's going to be some exciting matchups from day one. I think this is going to be the most highly anticipated and highly viewed women's NCAA tournament in the history of the sport. We've never seen this much talent. We've never seen this much star power. We've never seen this much competitiveness. The storylines are writing themselves, people, and everybody wants a piece of the action that is women's college basketball, ESPN, signing the exclusive rights deal. I mean, it's exciting times, man, but y'all let me know how y'all feel. Who are y'all watching in the NCAA tournament? Who who y'all got y'all's eye on? Y'all holler at your boy. Let me know how y'all feel. That's a wrap for us. For all the latest and the greatest, I am Brandon Lee, a.k.a. Brandon Lee TV. Until next time, hey, we out.